This is Michael at Vanilla Exotics. I'm going to show you how to make vanilla extract at home. When you make it yourself, you'll save two to four times over buying it in the store or online. To get started, you need some type of 70 to 80% proof alcohol and vanilla beans. Most commonly, vodka is used for the alcohol. Then you will need extract grade vanilla beans, also known as grade B vanilla beans. These beans are drier and cheaper than grade A vanilla beans. Extract grade vanilla beans have imperfections such as color blemishes, the pods may be split, or they might just be small. None of these imperfections affect the flavor. Contrast this with the more expensive grade A vanilla beans, which are soft and supple. Grade A vanilla beans are typically used for their seeds, for baking or making dessert. To get started, we need to figure out how many beans we need. The standard single strength, sometimes called single fold formula for vanilla extract, is defined by the FDA. The formula requires 13.35 ounces of extract grade vanilla beans for one gallon of alcohol. We're going to use this FDA single fold formula as our baseline. There are variations to the FDA formula for making vanilla extract. There is a budget variation which uses considerably fewer beans. And there's also a stronger single fold formula. We've created three simple charts to make it easy to select the right amount of alcohol and beans for whichever strength of vanilla extract you're making. Using the baseline FDA single fold formula, for eight ounces of alcohol, we use 24 grams of vanilla beans or about 11 vanilla beans. For the economy formula, using eight ounces of alcohol, you're gonna weigh out eight grams of beans or use about four beans. Then for the stronger single fold formula, using eight ounces of alcohol, you're gonna use one ounce of vanilla beans or about 14 beans. Once you have your beans ready, slice them all to open the pod. This will expose the beans and speed up the extract process. Cut the beans into short pieces. Measure eight ounces of vodka. Canning jars work really well. And add the beans. Seal the container. If you have a food saver with a vacuum attachment, you can vacuum out the air and force the alcohol into the beans. This will speed up the extraction process. This step is completely optional. Shake once a day for the first two weeks, then shake once or twice a week until the extract is ready, a minimum of about three months. If you can wait six months to a year or even two years, the extract will be much richer and complex. When your extract is ready, strain out the vanilla seeds and the pulp and you have a beautiful extract. Vanilla extract makes a great gift and it's one of the few gifts that won't collect dust. We all love seeing tiny vanilla seeds in vanilla ice cream and other desserts. Sometimes these vanilla seeds are also referred to as vanilla caviar. Here is a great way to get the vanilla caviar from your beans after being soaked in vodka, rum, or brandy. Fill a tall jar with your extract grade vanilla beans. Make sure they're whole. You don't want these cut or sliced. Add your alcohol. Put on the lid and wait for them to get soft. When you're ready to get the vanilla caviar or the vanilla seeds, cut the top of the bean, push out the vanilla seeds to use in your recipe. Now you can get started making your own pure vanilla extract and vanilla extract caviar. Vanilla is expensive. Try not to waste anything. Start a mother jar with vodka and add in any leftover vanilla pieces. Thanks for watching.